Ah, I've been expecting you, Mr. Bond. Hi, I'm Clint Riggleton, Mayor. My great-grandfather founded Riggleton way back in 1856, and since then, my family have proudly serviced the people of Riggleton. Man, I'm so excited you're here to get to know us. Between you and me, you'll find this is the greatest town in the world. Toilet in there if anyone needs. A bathroom to wash your hands, of course. All our water's bored or I installed myself back in the 90s. Yeah, drought's pretty common in this region and it pays to be prepared and bore water really is the... I think you're boring them, hun. <laughs> oh, she's a pistol. <laughs> Let me give you a proper tour. Uh, Clint, why don't you go and peel the potatoes? So, this house is a bit tacky now. We took it over from Clint's parents and it's overdue for a reno. Which we had planned, but we've had a few setbacks since the highway got moved. Let's go see Max's room next. Max, honey! What's up, Mom? Come here! Do my homework after dinner. The film people want to see your room. What's up? <laughs> Come in, my castle's your castle. Uh, no. What's up guys? It's your boy at to the max 69 on Insta, Facey, Twitter and Tumblr. Check out at max underscore TV on YouTube, Vimeo and Twitch. I'm also on Skype, Viber, Reddit, obviously, uh, Foursquare, Tinder, <laughs> TikTok, Ravelry, Slack, Flickr and uh, of course LinkedIn. Make sure you check me out DJing at the Rum Jungle on Thursdays at DJ Max a Trillion. You gonna put those links in? How did Clint and I get together? Well, we knew each other since we were kids and we went to the same high school. We were best friends. Yeah, we were. Uh, I was dating another guy in senior and then when he went off to uni, I realized Clint was there the whole time, right there. One thing led to another and well, it's been 21 years. And you don't look a day over 25. Oh. Potato hands, Clint. Oh, good morning. Oh, I can't wait for you to meet all the colorful characters and have a yarn with all the Riggletonians. They'll be treating you like a local in no time. Yeah, we got a great community here and You'll be right at home. G'day, Riggler. Trev, how are ya? Oh, I'm shit. And uh, my night was even shitter, believe it or not. Oh, well, I started out all peachy. I went down the rum jungle. I was having a proper blinder. I was pissed, I tell ya. And then I met this lovely bird, eight out of 10, you know? She was down for it, I was down for it. So we go out in the car park, found ourselves a private little spot between a pair of BT-50s, I think they were. And then next thing you know, I'm getting king hit from behind. Jeez Louise, all I remember after that was vomiting in the back of Rick's taxi. I get home and I'm missing a shoe. Dude, that's awesome. So you found it then? Ah, it's, nah, that's the good one. I guess we'll leave you to it then, yeah? Oh, well, oh, before you piss off, I want to show you my fresh ink. Yeah, suss this out. Ah, ooh, ah, ah. I think it's infected. I got a bit of gloss in there, but uh, it should clean up good. Oh, dear. It should clean up real well. Oh, Trev. Uh, how's things with Sally? Oh, oh, well, complicated as always, but she's, she's a lovely girl.
go down your bastard! Go on on your bike! What are you looking at? She certainly showed him what for, eh? This collection started in 1977 and is one of Riggleton's many fabulous attractions. It holds the record for Australia's largest fruit-based sticker collection. The previous record had 78. This one's got over... Well, it's got hundreds. Isn't that right, Val? It's a handsome chap, wasn't he? <laughs> Well, beer o'clock. How you going, mate? Yeah, good. Yeah, uh, Albert and I go way back. Yeah. We've been friends since, oh, day dot. <laughs> you want to top up, mate? You betcha. Cheers. Well, I'll see you around, eh? Yeah. Al. I'm inquiring to find out if you have any knowledge of the whereabouts of this here item. You mean this? That's trips. So you are aware that it's missing? Maybe. Talk to me. What do you know? I'll check the lost property. Case closed. Hey, Clinton! Oh, oh, Tony! Hi. <laughs> oh. Hi, this is Tony. She's the captain of the Riggle and Worms rugby league team. Oh, she's a real asset every year in the community cup match against those stuffed shirts at Lake Splendid. <laughs> those blokes are pretty scared of her. Most of the blokes in our footy team are too. <laughs> She'd get it. Huh? Later, man. Hold on to your hats, guys. We're about to go into enemy territory. The rivalry between our towns goes way back to my great granddad, Henry Riggleton's time. An early settler and pioneer explorer, he and his partner, Caleb Splendid, came across these green pastures and set out to found a town together. Now, legend has it that the two were at odds with where to place the town. So Pop wisely splintered off from the group and founded the now great town of Riggleton. Splendidites will try and tell you that Pop was scared of water, and that's why he founded a town a mile away from the lake instead of one surrounding it. But that's simply untrue. They weren't laughing when they soon found out we were sitting on a gold mine, or more accurately, a worm farm of epic proportions. And so this striking structure, created in collaboration with GG Property Development, headed by our own Gary Garrison, will be the first of its kind in the region. So it's with great honour that I break ground to the site of the revolutionary Lake Splendid what Performing Arts Centre. Shh. Thank you, thank you. Clint! Tracy! What a pleasant surprise! <laughs> How nice to see you in this neck of the woods. What brings you here? I'm on official Riggleton business, if you must know. Well, you're more than welcome to stick around for the celebrations. Right, Isabel? 
Hmm? Yeah, sure, whatever. Hmm. Kind offer, Tracy, really. But I'd best be getting on. I've actually got a lot of work to do, running a town and all. <laughs> Your heart's racing. Really? Oh, I've had a bit of a stomach ache all day. I'm not sure why. So, what else is going on? Well, as you know, the big town hall meeting's the Savo, and uh, we'll be going over this year's budget. Oh, I see. I'm assuming you're going to have to deliver some pretty hard truths this time round, huh? Clint, we're all aware of the effects of the new highway upgrades. Even the pub's taken a hit to its numbers, and that's saying something. It's nothing we can't handle, Doc. Just another bump in the road. Oh, that reminds me. Is there any money for resurfacing? The roads around my house are a bit of a shambles. We'll see you at the meeting. Full house. Let's do this. Now, welcome to the stage, your mayor, Clinton Riggleton. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the monthly town hall meeting. Okay, <laughs> well, let's take a look at tonight's agenda. Oh, I'm not worried about Clint. He's a good man. You know, a budget is like any marriage. It's ups and downs. Peaks and valleys. Sometimes you just want to run away. But you couldn't do that to your uh, town. Item 26. All in favour of Val continuing to maintain and update our beloved sticker wall, say aye. 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 I, I don't think the people of Riggleton are ready for the news about the budget. So. I learned this great trick from watching American politics on CNN, fake news. It's called filibustering. Basically, you just talk for a very long time until no one listens anymore. Should we change the town's Wi-Fi password? Clint, that's enough, okay? We want to know about the town budget. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. Here it is. I can't read that. Quit stalling, Clinty. Nobody panic. I'm sure we can figure a way out of this, everyone. We just have to be positive. Yeah, easy for you to say, toots. I've got four little mouths to feed. Those kids need a father. I knew the new highway was bad news, but I didn't expect this catastrophe! <laughs> to collect all your ideas, yeah? Like an ideas harvest. Let's open up the floor for anyone, anyone at all. So basically what you're saying is you have no idea. Nude car wash. Yes, honey. I think everyone should all remain calm and be thankful for what we do have. Anyone else? This is a Riggletonian only town hall meeting. <laughs> the chair does not recognise the speaker. Who are you? Me? Trev? When I look around this crowd, you know what I see? Potential. I see bakers and butchers. Mothers. Sons. And what does anybody want? Family, friends, health? 
everybody wants. Entertainment, thrills, fashion, bowling. And a 21 cinema megaplex. Everybody wants the Wriggleton Mega Mall. <laughs> now sure. You say, Gary, I want this. I want to be like you and who wouldn't? But what about me? Where's my slice of the pie? Yeah. Well, guess what? It's your lucky day. Because I'm not offering you a slice. I'm offering you the whole mother thing. <laughs> you're saying is you're planning on destroying our town. Not at all. This town will be repurposed. Making each and every one of you feel the rich. Gary Garrison is my mortal enemy. But the facts remain. One, Gary has to wait 45 days before he can submit his paperwork irregardless. Fact two, that means I have 44 days to win back the hearts and minds of my people and save Riggleton. Whoa, 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 whoa